Um, I think that I can bring um, uh, an attitude of really positive cultural inclusion um, because my um, I was born in France, actually. Um, my dad is French and my mom's American. And so I moved here when I was young, but um, I learned French and English at the same time. And I always kind of lived with um, two cultures and kind of having to navigate between the two growing up um, made me see that there's not a right answer for everything. And I think it's taught me to to really question and always look for the other side of whatever the argument is, whatever um, we take for granted as the correct way to do something and the way to live our life. So one of the ways I want to um, bridge communities from all over campus um, is just, you know, again, with that personal connection, like bring them in, recruiting um, people to be a part of our internship program, for example. Um, or you know, putting together collaborative events that involve mo multiple groups from um, communities that don't necessarily always collaborate together. Um, for example, like I'm a member of a sorority, so you know, um, having an event with my sorority and you know someone from another multicultural group or an environmental group or something like that. You know, my my running mate Manish Rora is part of the environmental movement on campus, and he's been really involved with um, a lot of environmental groups. So you know, fostering collaboration between those groups. Um, you know, and the Greek community and other programs. And, you know, I've been involved in the Honors College. I've been a FIG assistant, things like that. Um, you know, there's, there's so many great programs that are already happening and um, fostering collaboration between events and, you know, as many um, ways that we can have teamwork. I think that people learn really well together and it's fun. And people learn from each other at the same time that they're making a difference for campus. So I think a wide range of you know, student groups from all different cultures um, really broadens the, you know, traditional U of O students' perspective on, um, you know, because Eugene doesn't really have a, tons of, um, you know, cult wide, you know, world global cultures um, naturally around it. So the U of O is crucial to making sure that students get that exposure. For example, um, I went to Indian night last night, which was a great time, and it just, um, you know, you have food, you spend time with people, um, you get to see, like, uh, Indian music and fashion, things like that, and those are just great opportunities for students to have that exposure, even if it's just for a couple hours, you know. Um, we have programs like that all the time. I think the difficulties with outreaching to those groups are um, that sometimes they see the ASUO as sort of um, a you know, more of a bureaucratic office instead of um, a type of support system that can help them, um, you know, promote their events or plan or recruit new members or things like that. Um, so I think by, you know, showing your face and, and going and saying, hey, you know, it's about personal connection. We want to support you um, and what you do, not just make you fill out this form correctly, you know. Um, and I think I would love to go to as many of those groups as possible and encourage my executive staff to do that as well, to um, even just go like once a month or so and just say, hi, like what do you guys need? Like what's going on? What are you up to? You know, um, just adding that personal element to it is really key and, and helps them to see the ASUO as, you know, just other students helping students. Um, so I think that multiculturalism and diversity play a huge part in the type of advocacy that I want to prioritize in my administration. Um, I think that, you know, I'm really excited to go to the new legislative session um, and lobby for things like the Oregon Opportunity Grant and Pell Grants and, you know, just more need-based aid in general and making sure that tuition doesn't keep climbing. Um, and, you know, that is because um, higher education is about um, creating better accessibility. Um, for all students and, um, you know, making sure that students from all backgrounds are able to afford higher education. Um, so not only is it important to um, lobby for lower tuition for our future to allow every student in Oregon to be able to do that, um, but also, you know, to include um, multicultural students in that process now, um, you know, who who do have need-based aid, who, who really, um, you know, that is why they can afford higher education and protecting that access for all students is really, really important. It amazes me how many cultures we, we have in Eugene already, and I think that um, we can do a, a better job of, um, you know, uh, bridging those cultures and um, really getting to understand each other and um, understand each other's priorities as students but also as people.
on our executive staff, we have a multicultural advocate. Um, we have a gender and sexual diversity advocate. Um, you know, and those people are, you know, their job is to represent those students that, you know, aren't traditionally represented. Um, so within that, within that structure, I think we do do a good job. Um, but again, like, you know, making sure that we have that, you know, diverse representation is always a challenge um, and something that we can always do a better job at. And uh, along those lines, you know, how would you improve this representation in the SUR? Yeah, I think um, number one is just talking to as many people as we can from all different student groups and programs, telling them um, what the ASUO does, how the ASUO can support them, and the goals that they want to achieve on campus, whether it's small scale or big scale. Um, I think you know, going to those groups, making those personal connections face to face, and not just during campaign season, but all year round, is huge. Um, and you know, um, throughout my time here, I've, I'm a senior. Throughout my time at U of I've met a lot of great people who I think um, are great leaders and have a lot to bring to the university. And um, you know, just doing personal recruiting and, and encouraging my executive staff and all members of the ASO to be um, always constantly recruiting um, new people and new exciting fresh ideas to the ASUO, um, people from all backgrounds and all different communities all over campus.